Whew, I'm tired. Jesus. <clears throat> and we're live. My background looks a mess, and that's because my house is a mess. And my hair's frizzy. I'll wait for people to show up, per usual. It's 6.30. Um, I was running errands, so I am 30 minutes late, but I'm here. So, yeah. I'm so tired. And out of breath. Um, I'll just wait for people to show up. It's always so awkward waiting. Hello, one person who's here. I'm looking at how much I spent on this one bag. I spent $29.81. Okay, and then $52. Like a hundred dollars. Hello, everybody. Um, I'll wait till probably like the two and a half, three minute mark. Just because I am late. I'm not here at six. I'm here at six thirty. Um, hello everybody, Erica, Jennifer, Volver Vintage, Judy, Erica, Sony Magic Resale, Dead Air Space. Thank you guys so much. Um, I am late because I was running errands and then I went to the laundromat and Got off the car and noticed my tire was flat and I'm missing a hubcap and <laughs> I just got new tires last week and new hubcaps. So irritated. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. So yeah, my car sucks. I hate cars. Hi, Debbie. We'll wait a little bit longer. Sorry I am late though. Um. But better here than not here. Of course. I do have quite a bit of items too. So I might be here for a little while. Hello, Melissa and Ciro and I'm up. Okay. We're getting in the 2.30 mark. Um, sorry that I'm late. Um, if you're new here, which you're probably not. <laughs> um, Oh, my Thanksgiving was good. I hope you guys had a good um, Thanksgiving, a good turkey day. I ate lots of food, fell asleep on my best friend's mom's couch. It was a very eventful day. Um, sorry I'm late, though. I'm usually here at 6 p.m. EST. Today it's 6.30 because I was running errands, and then my tire was flat, and my hubcap fell off, so probably got to go to Walmart tomorrow and see what's up with that. Um, hopefully they don't make me buy a new set of four hubcaps, and they replace it because I had it on there for a week, so why did it pop off? My life's just been a joke recently. It's okay, though. It's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, so I have... 30, 40, 50. I have about 50 items I'm going to be hauling. Um, it's probably going to be my longest haul in a while. 50 items for about $100. Um, I went to the thrift store on Sunday, yesterday, and the lady fucked up. Usually I get 20% off for my student discount, and she accidentally hit 50% off. And um, I made sure that my face stayed straight, and I took my bags and got my happy ass out of there. So... I got a really good deal, um, and I'm happy because I found a lot. So I'm going to go through them. Hello, Mindy. I have this first bag. I bought this bag last Tuesday. Um, I really there's 19 items in here, and I spent uh $32, so decent amount of money. Um I think my average cost of goods is around like two bucks for everything. There are some items that I paid over $10 for, some items that I ended up paying 50 cents for, thanks to the lady messing up and giving me a larger discount than she should have. But that's okay because I deserve it because I had a really rough last week. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go through this bag. So the first item that I got is, this is probably Pendleton or something. Yeah, Pendleton, and I think this is their 50s tag. If you go on Vintage Fashion Guild, it has all the decades of Pendleton and what tags are from what decade. So here goes the tag. Um, I believe this gold tag is 50s, and I'm is this 100% wool? Probably. Yeah, 100% virgin wool. Cute little plaid, pe plaid pleated skirt. 
This will get listed for probably like 35 bucks. And it's a size 10. So, good for the holidays. Um, and I spent, I said $30 for this whole bag for what I'm about to show you guys. Uh, the second item I got is a Talbot. It's a 14 Petite. And it is a, like, blue tealish blazer jacket but it has a different color blue sleeve and this is like a sweater sleeve and i think this is new with tags i feel like it is because maybe it's not yeah oh, the tag fell off okay the tag fell off but thankfully um i bought a tag gun because i've come across this problem too many times so I bought a tag gun, so I'm just going to have to reattach this tag, but it was originally $169, so I got that to extra large. I'm hoping I can find a stock photo because I don't know how well that's going to photograph because the colors. Oh, this next item I got for myself, um, I believe it was $0.80. Cents. It's a vintage positive attitude blazer. It's a 1X. It's kind of a little big on me, but it's still cute, and... It is this blue and green plaid, cute little blazer. Um, it is double breasted, but I'm not gonna wear it. But it's kind, it's kind of too big on me to be honest. But I'm probably not gonna wear it buttoned. I don't wear really anything buttoned up. Too constricting. Um, but I picked this up. That's for me not to sell. Uh, I'll probably try it on again and see if I really like it, but. Yeah, this is Sea Wonder, and I believe Sea Wonder was made by Tori Birch's husband or ex husband. I believe so. Um, I always used to think when I saw this C that it was Charming Charlie, but it's not. It's Sea Wonder. If you ever see this C, and this is a blue corduroy button down long sleeve dress, and I just thought it would be good for this time of the year. When I go down the dresses, you know, I'm trying to, like, stay away from spaghetti straps, summer dresses, shit like that. I've been trying to pick up more, like, fall appropriate. Um, I got this because it was 80 cents. I don't really pick up Nine West clothing, but it was 80 cents, and it's a 14, which is an extra large, which is a great size. And it's a single button blue blazer. Pretty basic, but cheap and a good size. Um, I got this because I thought it was cute. It's vintage Talbots, and it was 80 cents. It's, uh, six petite, but a lot of the vintage stuff, the petite is not, oh, it's a small. The petite is really not, like, our petite today. Like, if you compare, like, a vintage petite blazer to, like, a normal blazer, the usually the lengths are not different. Um, vintage sizing is just weird. But this is Vintage Talbot's tag. I got it for 80 cents. I just thought it was cute. It's like a little quilted snap button jacket. And it has like a corduroy um, collar. Hello, Jennifer. There are a lot of Jennifers <laughs> in the chat. Jennifer Redden. Um, there's a Jennifer with no last name. And then Jennifer Cathias. <laughs> I got this blazer. Um, it's vintage. It's Amanda Smith, but it's 100% wool. And it's like, I guess it's new with tags. It was 80 cents. New with tags, vintage, originally 160. I didn't really look at this. I don't ever really look at the price tags on vintage stuff. 160. It went on sale for $95.99. Um, okay. A little wool blazer. It has a velvet um, collar and it's double breasted and it is like a green, blue, and purple color. 80 cents. I just bought four Talbot's blazers, not vintage. Comps are all over the place. Hope they sell. Yeah, comps are all <laughs> definitely all over the place. <laughs> My hair is so frizzy. I usually list. Um, I mean, depending what it is, like three button blazers, I usually don't list as high just because a little more dated pinstripe blazers, but um, I get most of my blazers for 80 cents and list them for like 25 to 35, and they usually sell like 15 to 25, which is good enough for me. 
Um, do blazers sell better on Poshmark, eBay, or Mercari? I sell most of my blazers on Poshmark. Um, Mercari is like all over the place. It's definitely a lot of plus size and a lot of more like popular brands. Um, I got this because it was 80 cents. I don't know if I should have got it. It's Isaac Mizrahi Live, which is like QVC. And it is this floral, um, like stretch knit blazer. Good for the summer. Good for a little cruise, um, a little vacation. It was 80 cents. We'll see if it sells. <laughs> oh. Here goes my receipt. Yeah, $29.81 for 19 items. Oh, I got a couple skirts. Every time I look at the skirt section, there's always another reseller. And I notice she doesn't buy blazers. And there's more money in blazers over skirts anyways. Um, so I haven't really been getting as many skirts. Because she's been beating me to this section. But she doesn't look at the blazers. So <laughs> that's fine. Um... This is Loft. It's a zero petite. Cute little striped skirt. I was listing skirts at 25. Now I've been listing them at like 22 because nobody's paying 25 for them. So 22 is just a little, you know, maybe that'll give you an incentive to send me an $18 offer. Um, I got these because they were brand new. They're Roz and Ali. They were originally $30. I guess they sell Roz and Ali at Dress Barn because there's a Dress Barn tag. And they're size six, new at tag, gray slacks. They were 80 cents, so that's why I got them. These will probably sell on eBay. That's where I feel like, if, yeah, if these sell, they're probably going to sell on eBay. Um, some more pants. I think these are guests. Yeah, these are guest collection. I'm not sure if guest collection is more expensive than regular guests, but they were 80 cents. So I picked them up. They're like a, like a faux denim, like a chambray. Um, I use that really loosely. I know there are differences, but <laughs> like straight leg dress pant. I've been trying to pick up more pants because there's money there. This is Charter Club size large. Charter Club is sold at a department store like JCPenney's, Macy's type of brand. This probably retail for like $45. But it's like a cow neck, um, multicolor, little long sleeve stretch blouse. And it has a chain detail on the shoulder. Um, another pair of pants. These are corduroys. Gap size 6. Black skinny jean corduroys. My best friend might like these. She bought a couple pair of pants off me that I um, got last week. She bought, I think, two pairs off of me. So she might like these, but skinny jean, black, yeah, corduroys. Um, these are a New Day, size two. So these are Target, size two, gray, like a cropped, skinny pant. These probably retailed for like 30, 35. We'll get listed for 20. I really don't even list my Target stuff at 25 unless it's, like, plus size or, like, new with tags just because it's, like, unrealistic <laughs> for to sell at that price. Um, I got a couple of scarves. Uh, I believe all of them were... Oh, I got one more clothing item in here. Oh, a couple more. Cute little skirt, corduroy. It's by Sahali, which is, like, an online... Like, boutique brand. I remember when I worked at Clothes Men or a lady brought us in a bunch of it, and I had to look it up. And um, it does retail for, like, a decent amount of money. Excuse me. So I seen this for 80 cents and figured, why not? So Halley, S-A-H-A-L-I-E. I'm not sure. The last time I looked it up was when I worked at Clothes Mentor, which was over a year ago. But I thought it was a cute little corduroy skirt, like, nonetheless. And it's, like, A-line, which is different. Hello, Roberta. I hope your Thanksgiving was good and your week. I have 50 items for anybody who's just now like coming in, but I've almost went through 20 of them so far. I got this blazer. This is a Pendleton blazer size 12. It was 80 cents and it is a wool single button solid blue blazer. I just thought the color was really nice. 
And then, like I said, I got a couple of scarves. This is Joseph and Lyman. These scarves are pretty much... Oh, my bad. I'll uh, put them higher. These scarves are pretty much... Um, they're just like whatever brands. Like, this is Joseph Lyman. I'm not sure who that is. But I got them for myself. Like, this was 80 cents. It's a nice, cute scarf. Um, oh, this scarf's really cute. Well, I guess I only got two scarves. I have, like, four. I must have put a couple back. Um, this was 80 cents, and this is a nice big gap scarf. And it's just so cute. Like, why go buy a new scarf when you can go to the thrift store, get one for less than a dollar? I got my winter coat from the thrift store, and I got my winter coat from the thrift store last year, too. Um, and then these will be my scarves. My coat was six bucks. It's a Banana Republic cashmere wool blend. Super comfy. I was going to sell it, but I sold one of my Columbia coats instead. So much shit at the thrift store. Just waiting to be bought. Um, you're a little light, but it's okay, girl. It's okay. That was what I bought Tuesday. 20 items for 30. This is what I bought Sunday. There are... 31 items for $52. $52 doll hairs. Um, great deal because I have a J. Crew coat in here that retails for $200. And I look up, when I'm paying up for stuff, and J. Crew in general, I look up comps. I will sit in the aisle, look at the style number, Google the style number, type in the style on Poshmark, and look at comps. It's a whole process, but I will do it. Um, they had the code price of $20. Uh, she ended up messing up and giving me a bigger discount. But the lowest comps were like $40, $50. And most of them were higher. And it retails for $200. So I was super ecstatic about that. Oh, Gina, I'm happy you could catch me live today. I did go live late at 6.30. Um, because I was having car problems and just dealing with just, just stupid car stuff. Just... Just the joys of my life. Scarf seemed to sell well on Poshmark. I've never really no. No, I sold one scarf before, and I sold it on Mercari. Um, do I list items lower in December? No, I really like. I was thinking today about my business and where I was last year and where I am today. I'm pretty much at the same spot. <laughs> pretty much at the same spot, but that's okay because I can still pay all my bills. You know. But I think next year, like, I really do want to try to implement, like, a markdown schedule, um, a sale schedule, because I really don't run sales. But I sell stuff so cheap, so it's like, you know, the people who run sales all the time are usually the people who have, like, overpriced shit or just more expensive stuff in general. I don't really carry expensive stuff. I'd be like the thrift store running a sale. It's cool, but my cost of goods is not zero, you feel me? So, I don't know. I just want to, I guess, I mean, I guess take it more seriously, reselling. That'd be nice if I took my job serious. <laughs> but, y'all know me. I'm just in here to sell some clothes. I just be shooting this shit. I don't really take this shit too serious. I, it's fun, you know? It's fun working from home. I don't want to be like a bunch of people in my family who are miserable and have worked for the same company their whole lives. And, no, I don't want to do it doesn't sound fun. It's not how I want my little, my one life that I have to go. No, thank you. Um, I'd rather just sit here and do what I've been doing. You feel me? That's okay. I'm just ranting. We're going to go ahead and get into this next um, baggington here. So I have two large bags. Like I said, 31 items, spent about 50 bucks. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where we're at right now. I'm going to go ahead and start that. Uh, this is the first item I got. It's an 8 Petite Coldwater Creek. I think it's so cute. I love tweed. We know that. Um, and it's like a asymmetrical zip, like a moto style tweed jacket. Like, are you kidding me? I think it's so cute. I love this. Coldwater Creek. Um, so Coldwater Creek is, where, where do they sell her at? Coles? I feel like <clears throat> I miss when you did your monthly wrap-ups. Aw, mm, girl, I'm sorry I don't do them anymore. I'm happy that they helped you when you started. Um, 
I'd be wanting to do them, but I don't, I just don't be, I like doing these lives. I don't really like sitting down and like filming and editing like that. Not right now. Um, last month was a decent month for me. I made less than I did the month before, but I sold like 20 less items. I think I only sold like 70 items last month. No, I think I sold like 65 items last, last month. And I usually sell like 85 to like 110. Um, but I made like the same amount of money. I just sold less, which isn't bad. Uh, this is theory. Good theory blazer. Gray single button. Pretty basic. Probably get listed for like 35, 40. Do the wrap up live. We will come. Oh, thank you. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. Maybe I'll do like an end of the year wrap up. I don't know. My sales weren't, they're whatever. I was looking at how much I made cross listing and I've made three grand cross listing this year, which is a lot of money. <laughs> like, and that, I mean, cross listing does take up a big portion of my time which takes away from reselling, but it doesn't take up that much. But yeah, there's good ass money on cross listing. People ask me all the time, like, how do you get into cross listing? How do I get into cross listing? How do I get into being a, a virtual assistant? Um, and really, uh, okay, so this is Sag Harbor. It's a size 14. It's a wool blend. I love Sag, Sag Harbor blazers. Usually get them for 80 cents. Usually list them for 25 and they usually sell. So it's it's good for all of us. Um, it's a plaid single button blazer. She's cute. I sold a blazer like this to one of you guys last year. Hope you got some use out of it. I love tart plaid. Um, oh, thank you, Erica. Thank you. Um, I uh I was talking, I was talking about cross listing. Oh, hi, I, I, I got into cross listing because need more money. Um, I'm a big fan of having more than one stream of income, which is why I don't just sell on Poshmark. I'm on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. I make money from cross-listing. When I actually make YouTube videos, they do cut me a check depending on how my views are. It's usually like a little over a hundred dollars. Um, I've made, I want to say like a thousand dollars from YouTube this year. Not a lot of money. It kind of sucks because I mean, it's good money, but it is taxed. So when I put in my paper they send me, I'm going to have to pay taxes on all that money, which sucks. Um, but virtual assistance, virtual assisting or whatever is always a really good stream of income. Like I said, I've made three grand this year doing it for people. And I really only have like three or four consistent clients, to be honest. Like I really don't have a lot of clients. I lost a lot of clients um, at the beginning of this year, but I still... Um, make really good money. Uh, this is charter club size, extra large, cute little, um, more like an overcoat, kind of like an overcoat. Yeah. You'd wear this over a dress. Um, there's no button, but it has this toggle detail at the neck and yeah, just a little cute gray black. It was 80 cents. It has this inverted pleat in the back, but why not? That is the wrong pile. Okay, I've been throwing things in the wrong pile because I paid different prices for this stuff. Okay, so now that that's fixed. Thank you, Chloe. I hope I I had not, I have like 30 items that I need to cross list to eBay, but I haven't been cross listing to eBay because I had to pay insertion fees at the end of the month and it's the second and I'm already 24 listings into my 250 on eBay, which is just irritating as hell. I'm not going to upgrade my store because I don't make that much money on eBay. I make three to $400 a month. So it's like, I'm not about to upgrade my store. You feel me? And I think the next upgrade is like over $50 a month, but, um, I got a lot of stuff I need to, um, put on eBay. Oh, quick question. Quick eBay question. Um, for anybody who sells on eBay, you know how items are like good till canceled for 30 days. Do you guys just let them like keep going? Do you guys end the item and relist it? Like hit relist, hit sell similar. Do you end the item and then like save the photos, excuse me, and like actually relist it? 
because I have no idea. Like, I just let my stuff renew and just keep going. But I know shit gets, like, lost in the system. And, you know, there's all these different things. And people have all their different methods. So I was wondering if anybody else had a method. Because I just let mine keep going. I don't know what else to do. I feel like that's a lot. Having to, like, delete them and relist them every month, you know? Oh, okay, Thrift and Kristen. Okay, you're, like, two to three months in taking it seriously. I've had my eBay store since last December. Am I taking it seriously now? We we don't know. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. I just sell shit online. I just sling uh, old clothes online. Um, but I definitely, I want to be making more money on there. I am taking it more seriously compared to how I was last year. But I just still don't know what to do. Do I just let the items renew? Because that's what I've been doing. But I think I'm going to start ending them and, like, actually relisting them. Because I kind of want to relist my entire Poshmark closet. I have over 500 listings. But there's just... I just know that I should just relist some stuff. I feel like some shit would really, like, sell really quick if I relisted it. You know, the power of relisting. But I could relist my whole closet and waste my fucking time and nothing could sell. That'd be really bad. Um... I let it ride a bit, then end and sell similar. Okay, I do sell similar. Okay, okay. So I'm I'm gonna try sell similar. I was gonna just like I ended a bunch today that we're gonna renew today, and I was just gonna like relist them tomorrow. But I'm gonna do sell similar. Thank you, Jen Victor. I appreciate that. I try to be a little funny because I'm not gonna say anything because it might come off as shade. I don't. A, a lot of people are just so bland. And I feel like, I don't know, if you're if I'm going to be watching your shit, like, that's cool. You're showing me stuff, but I need to be entertained. And that's why I don't watch a lot of reseller content. <laughs> because, okay, it's informative. That's cute. That's dandy. But I want to laugh, girl. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but I know we all watch shit for different reasons. Um, has Poshmark been slower than usual for you? <sighs> I don't, Poshmark, Poshmark is my main source of reselling income, but I feel like, yeah, like, like if you're reselling, you can't just be on Poshmark. I mean, if you do great there and you can just be on Poshmark, that's great. I wish I was you, but it's just, <laughs> put your shit on eBay too. If Poshmark's slow for you and you're not on eBay, put it on eBay too. It's some good money over there. And there's a lot of people. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to start relisting stuff to Sorenzo because all things Sorenzo. I'm going to call you Sorenzo for short if that's okay. Um, because, yeah, my shit's been sitting. Okay, let me get back into this haul. I don't want to keep you guys here all night. Hello. This is Liz Claiborne. I got it because it was 80 cents. It's a size 8. It is a black and gray. Um, It's like a very, very mini houndstooth. A uh, single button blazer, basic, probably was like $50 retail. I'll list it at $25. Oh, that's the wrong pile. Okay, let me like put my back to this. Another blazer. I got so many blazers. I told you guys when I went there, the lady, she was already in the skirts. The two guys who resell, they were already in the dresses. So I just... Took my happy ass to the Blazers. But that's okay because um, I had a pretty, pretty full ass cart. So this is Worthington. Got it for 80 cents. JCPenney brand. Retail 72. So that Liz Claiborne probably retail for more than 50. JCPenney's retail prices are too high, which is why they always have sales. Y'all know how these department stores like to do us. Um, it's a size 16 though. A 16T at that. A 16 tall. And it's a solid gray single button blazer. I'll probably list that at 30. Oh, the lady who bought Hella Skirts didn't buy this. I can see why she didn't buy this because it'll probably sell like $10 to $15. But it's so cute. And I feel like I'm going to be able to find a stock photo. And it's something about having cute stock photos in your closet that makes me personally happy. Um... But it's a cute little pink corduroy mini skirt. I love it. And it is a size medium. It's Kendall and Kylie. 
So yeah, probably gonna sell 10 to $15. I mean, Poshmark is charging you what? $6.79 for shipping plus tax. So we can assume about $8 extra. So um, on Mercari, I do free shipping. So I might sell on Mercari. And actually it's Kendall and Kylie, which is like Junior Z. So I probably will sell on Mercari for real. Uh, this blazer has been there forever. I thought it was cute, but wasn't going to pay $10 for it. So I got it for 80 cents. It's a U.S. extra small. It's by a brand called Poly. I'm not sure if that is O Poly. I'm not sure if this is like some cheap boutique wish brand. But it's originally an Australian brand. So I'm assuming it's like a higher end Australian boutique brand. But regardless, it was 80 cents and it's a plaid three button blazer, kind of long line a little bit, but really cute for the holidays. I only listed about 20 items last month and every other day I relisted. I had one of my best months yet. Yeah, girl, I'm happy for you. See, and that's the whole thing, like relisting. If you're not listing something every day, they say to relist stuff every day, which is what I need to do. Um. I think I, li I probably listed like 100 items last month. I usually list like 20 to 30 a week. Um, but I do really want to relist my entire Poshmark closet. This is Banana Republic, an older tag. Do you guys see this tag? Definitely an older tag. But guess what? For 80 cents, I'm going to put it in my cart. So um, double button. It's got like an open pocket with a little pleated detail. This, I mean, this even just looks like an older style. This doesn't look like anything you're going to see in the stores right now. But it was 80 cents. It's a size 10. I wonder if it's wool. That'd be nice. Yep, 97% wool, 3% spandex. So damn near a wool blazer. I'll take it. Uh, Chico's. I don't think this is going to sell for much, but it was 80 cents. It's a size zero, which I think is a Chico's. Because I think they have a 0. 0.5 size. This is stupid vanity sizing. I don't know what size this is. It's an open front blazer, though. Y'all know what a Chico's tag looks like. Or an open front, like, lightweight cardigan. Um, Chico's, you can find the stock photos, but um, definitely a risk. They might flag you. Chico's, White House, Black Market are owned by the same people, and... Yeah, they definitely do care when you use their stock photos. Uh, okay. I got this BB or Bebe. Not sure what exactly, uh, how you pronounce it. I sold a pair of skinny jeans. And this brand, like, same day for decent money, the girl had, like, a closet full of their skinny jeans, though. So she was, like, obviously a fiend for her. I'm, like, that BB skinny jeans were her shit. And I had a pair. She was happy. Um, but, yeah. It was 80 cents. So I picked it up. Probably retail for over 100. Size extra small. Gray open front blazer with a little... A notched lapel. She's cute. She's open. You can wear her with anything. A jean, a black pant, a boot. The options are endless. Uh, okay, I'm about to fly through some shit. So it, it's like nothing special. You feel me? Gap, size medium, cute. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know how much I paid for it. Blue, cute little... Um, Balloon sleeve? Puff sleeve? I don't know. But it's embroidered. I got these for myself. I got myself a couple of pairs of size 14s, knowing my big ass wears a size 18. We will see if they fit. They were all 80 cents. If they don't fit, they'll get listed. Uh, these are Charter Club size 14. Uh, they're like a, a velour grain and black hound's tooth cropped skinny jean or straight leg pant actually I'd wear these with my docs uh so the leg opening doesn't even matter but I got those if they don't fit me they'll get listed new with tags company by Ellen Tracy and it was originally $89.50 light pink three-fourths sleeve 
um, lace up, V neck, tunic. Cute, cute. Um, let me read some of these comments. I haven't seen them. Um, relisting right now. I feel it. Happy Monday, girl. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving, too. I hope everybody did. Um, mm, oh, I got... Mm, okay, let's see. Oh, this is the coat I was talking about. It's J. Crew. They wanted 20 for it, so with my student discount, I would have paid 16 which I was okay with, but I ended up paying um, 10 for it, so even better. I think retail's like 198. It's really up there. But J. Crew coats always retail for good ass money. So if you can find a J. Crew coat um like under $20 for real. I would look up the style number in Google, find the style name, and go on Poshmark and look at comps. Um, that's what I do for in J. Crew. Like I sold a J. Crew coat for I paid 40 bucks for it. New it tags from Clothes Matter, and I sold it for 200 on eBay. Good ass sale. Like J. Crew outerwear, suitwear really goes for good money. I bought a blazer for like eight bucks, an extra small, and I sold it for 99 on eBay. Full price. Like what? J. Crew goes for good money on eBay. The one lady I'm, I cross list for, she had a new it tag J. Crew tartan plaid blazer and um i listed it at 150 for her on ebay and it sold like a week later for full price like crazy like and it's it's so crazy what'll sit on poshmark and what'll move right away on ebay like some shit you can't even give away on poshmark and you put it on ebay people pay good ass money for it but that's just the name of the game there's different people everywhere just like if you're at a regular store or flea market or you know just depends on the audience. But this is J. Crew size six. I believe it's called the City Park Trench Coat in Hunter Green. A lot of the ones that have sold are different color. Can't remember what color, but they're not green. And I think there's only one green one listed. So hello, my good sis JoJo. I still got lots of items. We're 37 minutes in, but I got a whole bag left. Oh, this coat is so cute. I got it thinking that my best friend might want it, but it's real. It's like super, super girly. It's really not like a winter coat you wear every day. I mean, you can wear it every day, but it's just so cute. And I could not leave it there. Um, my thrift store wanted $25 for it and I paid $12.50 plus 50% off. So a good ass deal. Um, <laughs> I was probably going to list this for like $99 or like $75 just because it's so cute. And somebody can always send me an offer. Um, it's a size small though, Talbot. Let me see if it's wool. 40% oh, even better. 40% virgin wool. 22% alpaca. Alpaca is better than wool. 20% um, polyamide. That's whatever. And then 18% mohair. So it really does have like a good ass fabric um material tag do you guys remember um that vintage coat i bought and it was unbranded and it was like a alpaca i think wool blend and i told you i got i bought it because because of the content because Girl, I can't even think straight. I sound about dumb as hell. I told y'all I bought it because of the material tag. And I list that coat for $150. It got a bunch of likes. And um, it ended up selling for a best offer of $80. I think I paid like 8 bucks for the coat. And it was a vintage unbranded coat. It just mainly sold because of the uh, the material tag. Thank you, New England Betty Boop. Yeah, I do appreciate the thumbs ups for real. Um, yeah, it's like, it's crazy. It's really crazy. You guys don't even know who I'm talking to, but it is crazy what sells on eBay as opposed to Poshmark. I just read them and respond out loud. Uh, what tag sounds expensive, JoJo? Mohair does good. People, oh, the, oh, the material tag sounds expensive. Right, if that's what you meant. 
girl. My hair does good. Yes. Does anyone sell used socks? I've seen some people who do sell like used socks. Not anybody I follow, but I've seen it before. People who sell like um vintage socks or like dead stock vintage, like new with tag, like Nike socks and stuff. Go for good money, I guess, on eBay. Uh okay, so this is Talbot's, like I said, and it is so cute. Virgin wool, alpaca, mohair, and a little bit of polyamide, just cause. Light pink jacket. It has um a covered button placket, so the buttons are hidden. And it has this um this can go high. Like you could cover your mouth with this. It has these buttons. But isn't it so cute? And it's Talbot, so you already know this retail for like over 150. So I was probably going to list it for 99 because it's such a cute color. It has a good material content tag. I already know it retail for high. And we'll see what happens. I think I really came up with this haul, especially since she messed up and gave me a better discount. Because I had already found good stuff. And my total was at like $91. And she hit that button. And it took it down to like 51 And I'm like, that's not 20%. But I'm not going to say anything because your cost of goods is zero. So, <laughs> yeah, JoJo, like $99.75. I'm going to see if there are, are any on Poshmark or eBay, any comps I can find. But I doubt it. I don't really find comps for Talbots, like exact jackets or exact blazers. Um, Got these for myself. They're new attack basic editions which is like Walmart, but they're like these green ribbed corduroy straight leg pants with an elastic waist. I would just wear these high waisted with like a graphic shirt, my boots. I also got this for 80 cents for myself. It really needs sweater shaved. Uh, oh, that's funny. It's by Venezia jeans, which is like old as hell Lane Bryant. Um, here goes the tag. And then some of you may have seen Venezia before. Lane Bryant does not make that brand anymore. Lane Bryant, I think it's just them and Kasik and then Livy Active. Um, but I got this for me. This is like a cute throw on and go jacket for 80 cents. Take my stuff to the post office. Yeah, there's definitely money in the sock game. If I were you, I would really just go to like, like just go to Poshmark and eBay and I guess search socks and filter it from high to low and see what they're selling for. That's what I did when I first started selling ties. And I just wrote down like all the good brands. And then I watched like a couple men's reseller videos. And then I just started buying ties. I've definitely made more money than I spent on ties, but they do sit. Y'all know that. Um, Alfred Dunner got these for myself as well. They're 14s. Elastic waistband, straight leg. Straight wide leg gaucho tight pants, my thing. Very comfy. Um, this is so cute. I don't, I'm not familiar with the brand. It says one girl who. I guess girl. Um, it says one girl who on this little thing. And it might be an expensive brand. I can only imagine how long this took. It's half acrylic, half wool, something like this. But it's a, a heavyweight orange asymmetrical zip um, blazer jacket. I guess it'd be a knit. Yeah, this, I'm, I don't think this is a woven. Um, cute. It was 80 cents. And I love how heavy it is. Like, you could wear that outside as, like, a coat. Like, it's heavy. This is Talbot 12 Petite. Purplish blue. Yeah, it's like a weird little mix. Um, single button blazer. I believe this is a wool blend. Oh, yeah. Kill McCloy uh, has good videos. You guys know I don't watch too many reseller videos, but when I was, I was definitely watching some of his. Um, and then half of the Posh Flamingo, right, is male, uh, <laughs> I believe. Yeah. And I was watching... Um, um, dude's videos. Couldn't tell you his name. This is, I want to say this is Brooks Brothers. Yeah, it's a size 10. It's 100% wool. Posh Penguin. Yeah, Posh Penguin. Posh, 
is it Posh Flamingo? Uh, Brooks Brothers, size 10, 100% wool. I got it because it was Brooks Brothers. I didn't even look at the care tag. Uh, Brooks Brothers, good money. I'm not sure if this is men. I think this might be. I don't. I don't think this is women's. It's giving me. It's giving me men's um, or children's. So I'll have to do more research. Uh, this is a J Crew blazer. It's a cotton blend. Uh, older tag. It's that dark green tag. If you guys ever see this, definitely older dark green. And it, it has the year under it. But it's a really cute blazer. Just because something's an older um, tag doesn't mean anything. I mainly look at style. I could definitely still see somebody wearing this. It's a navy blue. Um, and it has a single, like, a single button right here. Kind of like that overcoat, like that Charter Club one. But it's super cute, you know. It's older, but still a current style. Express size six this is like a grayish brown single button blazer basic. Oh, I got this. This fits me. It's um apple seed, I believe. Yeah, apple seed, which is vintage. And I've never heard of Harry Tornado. That's a hilarious name. It's a red and black grid print button front uh blazer. I got this for myself. I'm almost done. I have like probably like six items left. Hello to Wanda. Uh, this is Anne Klein. Size extra large. This is really cute. Zip up blazer jacket. Cute little silver zip details. She's stylish. I'll say the best item that I got for last. This is another Sag Harbor blazer. It's new with tags, 100% wool, size 16. So it's an extra large. I like the color. Solid, solid, solid dark green. I don't want to say salad. Uh, loft dress, extra, extra small, petite. Probably one of the hardest sizes to sell, but I don't have... Um, a lady bought like a bunch of the extra extra small shit I had in my closet. Um, so I mean it does sell, but I don't have a lot, so I figured why not? It was 80 cents. Whatever. A little shift dress. It does have a belt though. So it's gonna change the silhouette a little bit. Uh oh, last two designer items I got. This brand, I seen it, I seen they priced it at 15, which means they must have Googled it and seen that it retails for a little bit more money. So I Googled it, the real real popped up, and it looks like the jackets are listed between 50 to 100 on there, and that's about the resale value. Um, I got this for 750, so we'll see how it does. It's called Yanzi Fugel, and this is a Angora wool blend with a little bit of nylon in there, so really good materials. Um Angora, definitely better than wool. Angora's rabbit, just in case you guys don't know. Here goes the tag, Yanzi Fugel. Designer, never heard of him before. But if you guys ever see it, now you know. Hi, Street Savvy. I literally have one item left. <laughs> um, thank you, Tawanda. <laughs> And JoJo, the weather here is actually not bad. It's probably like 50 degrees outside. Yeah, and Gore's rabbit. Yeah, and Gore rabbit, unless I'm stupid, but I'm pretty sure it's rabbit. I hate it that I double, I second guess. Yeah, second guess myself a lot. Um, It's 34 degrees outside. I thought it was 50. Uh, 34. Well, you get to see probably the best item that I got Um, that I posted on uh instagram and i'm happy because i didn't pay 16 dollars for it i only paid 10 it is michael kors and it's like real michael kors like not that michael michael kors shit i'll still buy and sell that shit but this ain't that this is michael kors made in italy size six here goes the tag if you see first of all if you see anything made in italy look that shit up 
If you definitely see Michael Kors made in Italy, yeah. The expensive MK. She's beautiful. She's a <laughs> solid pink, little button detail dress. Got the buttons at the bottom. And it is, I think, 98% virgin wool. Um, I seen it and I'm like, this is too good to be true. This shit ain't real. That's how I always feel. And I'm looking at it like, I feel like they should have Michael Kors branded around these buttons. Um, this should at minimum be a YKK zipper. Like what is this little cheap ass zipper? Or it should be a thick ass zipper with a Michael Kors branding. That's just me. I feel like if you guys are going to charge hundreds of dollars, um, it's a size six, but it doesn't have that. So I'm like, is this fake? But it has the right tag. It has the right RN number, everything. It's just, I don't know the quality. I mean, it's a nice dress. I just thought that little things like that would be different. Like I have a Ted Baker dress and the zippers Ted Baker and the buttons say Ted Baker. And I would think, and I know that dress retail for less. I would just think that this, they would do the same, but they don't. Um, but yeah, it has like the right tag, has all the information on it. Made in Italy, the RN number, do not wash in water, do not bleach, uh, dry clean only. Um, it has the style name, made in Italy, 99% virgin wool, 1% spandex. So it is authentic. Um, you look up the RN number, check out the tag. I mean, once you start knowing clothes, you can you can see a tag and be like, nope, that's from Wish. Nope. That was made in a factory. It's 10,000 others like this. Um, that's all I have for you guys, though. It was my longest haul in a minute. Thank you guys for joining me. 51 minutes, 50 items. Not bad. Um I really love all the stuff I got. And then to think I only paid a hundred dollars for everything I just showed you guys. Like is really crazy because I know I'll probably make that money back off of like that Michael Kors dress, the J crew trench coat, and probably like one other item. Um, I'm yeah. So happy with everything that I got. I really appreciate you guys spending your Monday evening with me. Uh, sorry. I was late next Monday. I should be here 6 PM EST. Uh, I definitely, yeah, I'm going to go thrifting Sunday. I feel like, <laughs> of course, I feel like, um, December is going to be a good month as long as I list all the shit that I need to list. I have this pimple right here and I have no, I've like been breaking out so bad on my chin and I just really wish that I wasn't. Um, that's neither here nor there. Um, like I was saying, I really do appreciate you guys coming to join me on this, uh, Monday afternoon. I've been here almost an hour. I'm a little tired. You feel what I'm saying? Ready to sit down and watch some TV. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but hi, Kim. <laughs> but thank you guys. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much. Make good choices the rest of your day. Um, this will, when, once I end this, it'll process it. If you came late, you can rewatch it or anything. But yeah, I love you guys. Bye. I will see you guys next Monday at 6 p.m. EST. Make good choices. Um, if you're interested in anything, leave me a comment on the video. You can email me um, or message me on Instagram, whatever, you know. I don't be doing these hauls to like sell people shit, you know. I just do them to show people like what I'm listing, little information, you know, you know, you know, I don't need to tell you, you already know, you already know. I'm going to go. Good night, guys. I love you. Make good choices.